Shortly after he left for work, I got like insanely sick. Good morning, guys. So we started our morning super early, like I was talking about last night with our blood pregnancy test at our fertility center. So Miles actually went into work late today so he could come with me, which I really appreciated. I wasn't looking forward to going there alone, especially once we got outside. It like snowed yesterday and it was snowing more today, I think, although it was raining while we were driving. But it's kind of been snowing and raining, so it's like, you know, that slushy ice outside, and I just, like, would not have wanted to drive in that, especially that early in the morning, so I'm really glad that, um, yeah, I'm really glad he came with me, but, um, yeah, so we just went there, got my blood taken, and went home, and then he went right off to work, but shortly after he left for work, I got, like, insanely sick, and I don't know what's going on. I don't think it's, like, morning sickness, because... I feel pretty much fine, and also I felt fine, like, before I got sick. It just, like, all of a sudden came on. I started getting, like, really bad stomach pains, and then I just, like, got crazy sick, basically. Um, sorry if that's TMI, but, yeah. I just, I don't know. It struck me more as, like, food poisoning than, um, like, morning sickness, because I wasn't, like, nauseous before or after, and I feel like with morning sickness, even if you do actually throw up, it's more like you're, like, nauseous, you know? It's not just, like... I don't know. So anyways, that's how I started my day. And I just like am feeling super drained, like since then. So I'm kind of just working from the bed right now. I brought my computer down so I could edit the vlog for you guys. I got my munchkin keeping me company. Again, sorry if the camera's shaking. I'm like kind of weak. And so my arm is just like, not up to the task of holding a camera apparently. Um, but yeah, so I do not know what is up with that. I'm hoping it was, you know, a one time thing. And now it's out of my system. And I'm really hoping that that's not what morning sickness is going to be like this pregnancy because that was not fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, I did just get the call back from the fertility center for my blood work and it, um, obviously was positive. I have a the HCG level of 318. I think last time my first blood test was somewhere around five something. And, um, in case you don't know, the level of HCG is le like the number is less important than the pattern of the number, if that makes any sense. So, there is a range that your HCG should be in for each, you know, I guess week of pregnancy, but that range is, like, very, like, large. <laughs> it can be, you know, anywhere from, I forget what the numbers are, but it's a very big range that is, like, the okay range. And then it's more important to see that the HCG is um, increasing adequately over time. So, like I said in a previous vlog, your HCG is supposed to double every 24 to 48 hours, and that's more important than the actual number itself. So... Anyways, <laughs> a little TTC uh, education for those of you who are interested, but yeah, I have another appointment on Thursday to go ahead and check the numbers again to make sure they are rising, like I said, and um, actually this time I'm likely going to have to go in for a third blood test. I didn't have to do this last time because I think my numbers were high enough. Um, if I remember correctly, I think my first test was in the 500s, and then... Honestly, I have no idea what the second test was, but I assume it was over 2,000 because my nurse said that I'll basically have to kind of keep coming in until I can get my HCG level over 2,000 um, because before that, they likely won't be able to see a sac or anything if they do an ultrasound, so they just basically don't want to waste your time doing an ultrasound if it's, you know, going to be too early. So... Yeah, I'm going out back Thursday. I'm probably going to go back on Monday because um, my nurse said it's very unlikely that my HCG will get over 2,000 by Thursday. So I'm going back Monday. Hopefully it's over 2,000 just for the fact that I don't want to have to keep going back to get my blood work done. Like, it's just a pain in the butt. And 845 is, like, the latest they can ever do it. And sorry, I'm not a morning person. That's, like, really early for me to, like, get somewhere. So, yeah, the less times I have to do that, the better. Um... But yeah, there's my little update on that. Um, the nurse, when I when she called to give me her results, because they, like, my fertility center kind of, like, assigns you a nurse, and she's your, like, medical person that you have, like, you know, direct contact with instead of, like, your doctor, because your doctor's busy. And so she's, like, who I've kind of been messaging back and forth this whole time that I've been working with my fertility center. And obviously she, you know, went through me with my last pregnancy and then my miscarriage and, like, the craziness of my actual miscarriage. Um, and so she was saying, like, you make this part, like, really easy because, like, I'm, it's just so insane that I got pregnant on the first try both times. Like, I realize how lucky I am and how unlikely that is. So, yeah, even though we had a bad outcome last time, I still am, like, incredibly grateful to my body for, like, I don't know, making this part so easy at least. Um, and, yeah, we just kind of need a better outcome this time. 
cross my fingers. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm kind of just, I think, hanging out in bed today because I was feeling like 100% better and feeling like I was totally good. And so um, I got up to get, I needed like my computer charger, my computer battery and like a snack because I had like nothing in my stomach. So I got up and got all that and then got back in bed and my stomach kind of started feeling like a little crampy again. So I think I'm just going to take it like totally easy today and just Oh, and I say cramping, don't worry, it's not like, you know, pregnancy cramping, that's not the kind of, like, pain that I'm experiencing, so don't worry, it's, I'm not worried about that at all, um, but yeah, regardless, I just kind of feel, like, crud today, so I'm gonna take it easy and hang out in bed all day. <laughs> so Rufio has joined the snuggle party on the bed today. Dakota is being super overprotective, <laughs> I assume because of the pregnancy hormones and she knows I'm not feeling good, so she has just been on high, high alert. Every time Rufio made like a little scuffle in the living room, she like freaked out, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad to finally have him kind of in here with us. I am also watching Good Girls. I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish this season today. And then I'm actually going to um, start watching again, shoot, what's it called? Midwife? Is it just the midwives? I forget what it's called. But I started watching it during my first pregnancy when I was, like, super sick and couldn't get off the couch. And then when I miscarried, I stopped watching it because I just didn't want to watch a show about pregnancy when I was going through that. So, yeah, but now that I'm pregnant again, I can actually start watching the show again. So I'm really excited about that. Call the midwives. That's it. It's a really good show if you're looking for a good show. And it's still airing, which I actually didn't know when I started that. So that's exciting. Um... But yeah, anyways, I'm going to get back to watching Good Girls, finish that up. I'm probably going to have some lunch soon. What do you think, little girl? You taking good care of your mom? Huh? You taking good care of your mom? Yeah, you're such a good girl. So it's a little later, and I thought I'd give you guys a status update. Um, I'm still feeling miles better than I was this morning. I just... I, I don't know, I still definitely think I need to rest today, because if I get up and kind of run around too much, I start to get, like, stomach cramps again, and just kind of, like, I don't know, my body just feels tired, like, it needs to rest. Um, I have been able to keep food down all day long, though, so I think whatever I had is out of my system, and I'm in the clear, thank goodness, because that was just miserable. Um, but I'm just hanging out with my little munchkin. I also brought my planner down so I could do a little bit of work. I have my computer here, like I showed you guys before. And, yeah, just kind of... Chilling in my bed. <laughs> so it's a whole lot later, but as you guys saw, I basically just hung out in bed like all day, just resting. Miles got home. We had dinner. Hello. Had more of that. We had the very last of the like veggie pasta dinner. Super tasty. Yeah. Watched um, Big Bang Theory and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Yes. 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 We're almost out of shows to like watch and catch up on. <laughs> I know. Um, but yeah, sorry today was a little bit weird, but obviously, I don't know. I needed to just relax. But yeah, thankfully still feeling A-OK, -okay, so still hopeful that was just, you know, a one-time thing and I'm just completely fine. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, like I said, I didn't do that much today, so we don't really have that much to talk about. So I think I'm just going to wrap things up. And I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog nonetheless, and please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night.